All right. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Uh, this is the second lecture uh, related to the drug acting on the gonadal and reproductive system. And today we'll focus on selective estrogen receptor modulators. In short, you can call them uh, CERM and aromatase inhibitors. In my previous lecture, I told you to focus on the aromatase, the enzyme. Um, and today we'll talk about how the inhibitors would work and how they would benefit. All right. So you see, we are just two lectures away in finishing this part of uh, the subtopic of the endocrinology. All right. So let's start with CERMs. So you see, CERMs are ligands for estrogen receptors that have agonist activity on in one tissue, but have antagonist activity or no activity in other tissue. What do I mean by that? You see here. For example, this is a ligand, okay? So, in let's say in the breast cell, it is giving no uh, reaction at all, okay? No action at all. However, in the uh, uterine wall, let's say, it is making the mRNA. mRNA is then making different proteins. That's how we can say that it is producing its action, right? Okay. So I'm, I'm sure now you know what exactly serums are doing, right? So they are the ligands that bind to the estrogen receptors, okay? And they can give agonist activity in one tissue and antagonist activity in the other tissue. <clears throat> the response of a tissue is determined by the confirmation that the ligand confers upon the estrogen receptor and the set of co-activators that are expressed in that tissue. So currently there are three serums approved for use, tamoxifen, reloxifen, and torem, uh, toremifen. All right. Okay. So tamoxifen is an estrogen antagonist in the breast and in the brain but is an, an agonist in the uterus and in bone it is used in the treatment of advanced hormone receptor positive breast cancer and for primary prevention of breast cancer in women at high risk of the disease so tamoxifen increases the risk of endometrial cancer all right so what is endometrium? You see that day we discussed about the myometrium, which was the uh, middlemost uh, smooth muscle layer of the uterus. And today we are talking about the endometrium. Okay. So this is this lining of the uterus. Okay. So first one is endometrium, then is myometrium. And then we have serosa, which is the outermost layer. All right. Then is reloxifen. It's an agonist in bone, but has no effect on the uterus or breast and is an estrogen antagonist in the brain. So it is used for treatment and prevention of osteoporosis and for uterine fibroids. So what is uterine fibroids? This is this. If you can see that within the uterus, fibroids develop. Okay. And this drug treats this. All right. Sorry. So, reloxifen has been shown to reduce the risk of estrogen receptor positive invasive breast cancer by 66 to 76 percent. Then we have toramiphene. So, it is used to treat metastatic breast cancer. So what is metastatic? Metastatic is actually stage four cancer. And at stage four, the cancer actually spreads, okay, to other parts of the body. So this teramiphene uh, is treating the metastatic breast cancer. 
Okay. So common adverse effects of serms are edema. I'm sure you all must know what is edema. Edema is if that the, uh, the, the, the cells of the body accumulate interstitial fluid and because of which the body actually swells up. All right. Then the person can have hot flashes. Uh, then nausea, vomiting, which I don't want you to write. Uh, vaginal bleeding and vaginal discharge. There is an increase in thromboembolic events with riloxifen, but not with tem uh, tamoxifen. All right. Now let's talk about aromatase inhibitors. First of all, I want you to look here. You see, that day I discussed with you that the testosterone and uh, the cholesterol basically, all right, it changes into 17 beta estradiol and esterone because of this enzyme which is called aromatase. So aromatase is the enzyme that catalyzes the final step in the production of estrogen from and uh, adrenergic precursors within the ovary and in peripheral tissues. So aromatase receptors are a new class of oral estrogen synthesis inhibitors. All right, obviously when you will give um, aromatase inhibitors to somebody so they cannot produce estrogen, right? All right. So we have Eximis 10 is a steroidal irreversible aromatase inhibitor. It is approved for use in the treatment of breast cancer. Testolectone is another irreversible aromatase inhibitor. Major adverse effects include hot flashes, fatigue, and CNS symptoms such as insomnia, depression, and anxiety. And these are, by the way, th this depression, anxiety, irritability, these are uh, very prominent symptoms, all right? Mm. Adverse effects. Then we have anestrozole and letrozole, which are non steroidal competitive inhibitor of aromatase. These drugs are used as first or second line agents in the treatment of breast cancer. Adverse effects include hot flashes, vaginal bleeding, insomnia, bone pain, and GI disturbance. Thank you very much. I kept this lecture very short because I could understand that you must be studying all night because you have test, had test today. Um, right after the class, I will release your marks. So I hope you all will have a good time. Take care, everybody. See you all tomorrow. Allah Hafiz.